So we're going to talk about uh, youth and gun safety right now. Uh, Dave, do you want to start that off? Yeah, I would. I think uh, youth and gun safety is probably at the beginning of a topic of gun safety in general. Um, I think every child, very early age, um, decides he or she want to play with a firearm, especially with video games nowadays. Uh, they're being exposed to more and more firearms on video games. And I feel very strongly um, that at a very early age you should at least expose your children to the use of firearms in a very safe manner. And we started our son, Remington Lyman, at the age of three. Um, by the age of five, he was telling adults how they should be handling the firearms um, when, when the adult would have a, a lapse in memory. And he's gone through his life uh, knowing this, and all of his friends, and, and we, we coach uh, between 250 and 300 kids uh, during the winter season uh, every year uh, on gun safety. Um, once they learn gun safety, you never have to worry about um, them ever again around firearms. Um, usually in the media when you hear about the negative part of firearms uh, being used with youth, um, it's because the youth hasn't been exposed um, to firearms at an early age. Um, and they have an interest and they want to know what happens, what kind of sound it makes, um, what kind of uh, you know, recoil it has. Um, and if they, they're taught that at a very early age and exposed to that, you'll never have to worry about them from then on. I agree with you. Uh, I started at the age of five, and uh, those safety rules that my father taught me have stuck with me my whole life. Um, I've noticed people that have never been around firearms, first thing they do, pick up the firearm, put their finger on the trigger, and squeeze it without even knowing anything about it, and that's where you hear some of the bad negativity about uh, accidents with firearms. The, the shooting sports and, the, and firearm safety uh, is something that every child should be exposed to. Children, when they're exposed to firearm safety, uh, learn respect. Um, they learn the knowledge of firearm safety. In the shooting sports where they're uh, doing an activity of a, of a competition, um, they learn concentration. We find that a lot of kids that have a difficult time focusing in school um, when they come to the range because they have to focus through that little sight on a gun and they have to get their mind to hold the gun steady and to perform to shoot an accurate shot. Um, that teaches that little guy upstairs in the mind concentration. And after a few months of that, when they go uh, into school, the teachers and the parents say, geez, what's happened to Johnny? He's concentrating in school. And it all stems back to the firearms and firearm safety. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. And that's where people are like, how can you teach kids firearms and all that? But it does help them set those fundamentals for their life, too, along with shooting, I think, uh, throughout their life after that. It helped me uh, when I was younger and helped me focus and, and be patient and all that when it came to certain types of shooting uh, sports. Yeah, you know, Doug, there's, there's millions and millions of kids learning firearm safety in 4-H programs, in junior rifle club programs, uh, in uh, CAP programs, um, national, you know, uh, youth National Guard programs. Millions and millions of kids learning about them. And unfortunately, we only hear about the negative ones. Uh, we learn about the kids that, um, you know, got into trouble with firearms. And 99.9% .9 of those kids um, have never had exposure to a firearm safety class, a firearm safety program. Uh, if someone was going to get into the program and want to teach their kids, how do you help promote that? Well, I think you need, you need to look in your, your area, surrounding area, see mm -hmm. if there's any clubs, any youth organizations um, that they can get into. Um, and if there is, definitely join them. Um, if there's not, you know, you probably have got a grandfather somewhere along the line or a neighbor that's been in the shooting sports. Um, get them to take the, the child to the range. Um, teach them the proper uh, etiquette of ranges and the firearm safety. Um, and that's how you get into it. Uh, here in Connecticut, we have 18 high schools that have shooting teams. They travel all over the state of Connecticut, just like a football team, just like a soccer team, and they compete against other schools. Through our range, we send many, many shooters to colleges. Um, there's over 600 colleges in the country that offer shooting scholarships. Uh, my son Remington is a senior at Ohio State University. He's on a full four-year scholarship 
because of his shooting ability. Now, I'm not saying every child out there or every youth uh, can get that way, but many people out there in the, in the media world um, have no idea that there's even shooting scholarships in college. And it's not a sport like football and basketball where everybody's trying to get a, a scholarship. Mm. Shooting is a wide open sport. Wow, I didn't know that, and uh, I have a wrench too. <laughs> so wow, I didn't know that. Jeez, um, we noticed. Yeah, it's a it's a relative or someone that brings in uh, their child, and and we allow them to shoot on the range. It's just um, we just make sure that the safety's there, and the safety's there, and all that. Then we don't have an issue with it. Yeah, shooting is a really a family oriented sport. Mm -hmm. Young and old, big, small. Um, doesn't matter whether you have hair on your head or don't have hair on your head, you can shoot, mm -hmm. and you can shoot just as good as anybody else. Um, and so that's what makes our sport very unique, uh, what makes firearms usage very unique, because grandpa or the father who is in the military and comes back and um, can teach their son or daughter about firearms and the correct usage of firearms. And this happens all throughout the country all the time. Mm -hmm. So have you seen a rise uh, recently in your range uh, with more youth programs or I'm seeing a rise more in women than in, in youth? Yeah, I mean, in, because we concentrate so much on the youth programs, um, we have seen a rise, especially in the high school area. Um, many of the high school shooters uh, are trying to go into the military. Um, they see military activity on TV all the time. Um, we see a lot of interest in females. Uh, in the shooting sports, females make better shooters than the males do. Agreed. Scientific fact. Yep, agreed. Um, <laughs> so, um, so we see that interest. And, of course, you know, once you get the youth involved, then the parents become involved. And um, as you have you've seen, the, 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 the mothers and fathers getting their pistol permits and going through that. Yeah, i definitely seen where uh, someone in the family gets it, and then like, oh, you got to try this, and then they all come in and shoot, and then... It's a whole thing where they get together and then they start competing against each other and it just becomes that family activity. Yeah, and they can do that for a lifelong time. Yes. Uh, you don't see that on the soccer fields or mm -hmm. in the football fields. You know, it, you, you play football in college and then you give it up and you tell your son or daughter, this is how daddy was, mm -hmm. you know, back 20 years ago. But in the shooting sports, you can carry that right through. Yeah. When it comes to the youth programs, um, usually... Where do you suggest they start? Uh, pistol, rifle? I, it's, it's easier for rifle, I think. Um, the, the laws are a little bit easier for parents and, and adults to get into the, the rifle area with their children. But the handgun, we, we get them to go on to handgun. Um, air gun is very, becoming very, very strong, um, mainly because in the international phase, um, it's becoming strong. Um, and again, something that people don't realize is that shooting is an Olympic sport. It's participated by more countries than all but soccer. So it's number two participation of countries in the Olympics is shooting. You know, we're kind of in our own little ball in the United States uh, when it comes to shooting sports. You go to Germany and there's, there's air gun ranges in the pubs in Germany. Um, the shooting sports in Germany is humongous. And, in many, many other countries, it's huge as far as uh, gun ownership and, and uh, the shooting facilities. Yeah, I think a lot of the ne negativity in the media um, hurts a lot of those uh, sports or the shooting sports. 